As the volcano continues to spew its fire and brimstone, Europeans are being told to stay indoors where ash is falling. Microscopic particles of volcanic rock are already coming down in Iceland, Scotland and Norway, causing concern about respiratory problems. Anybody that has, say, asthma or pneumonia or um, emphysema, a lung disease, it's, it's not healthy to breathe it in. Concerns were similar when Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980. But a study of 712 loggers found that while coughing and phlegm problems spiked in the month after the eruption, over the course of the first year, they declined. And after four years, they were completely gone. Yet there are also environmental issues. Widespread flooding is already occurring in Iceland as lava melts away nearby glaciers, and the volcano is coughing up about 3,000 tons of sulfur dioxide each day. In the atmosphere, that becomes sulfuric acid, an acid rain. It prevents some of the sun's heat from reaching Earth, which cools temperatures. When Mount Pinatubo blew in the Philippines in 1991, it cooled the planet by nearly an entire degree. So far, the Iceland eruption is much smaller. Long-term climatic effects are reserved for the very, very large volcanoes, super eruptions. But this one will create volcano weather, like in Hawaii, where eruptions often cause smog-like conditions. Yet in Iceland, the question is just how dangerous is the ash? On Thursday, scientists flew into the volcanic cloud, collecting samples to find out. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.